We believe in God the Father, maker of the universe, and in Christ the Son, our Saviour, come to us in virgin birth. We believe he died to save us, for our sins was crucified, then from death he rose victorious, ascended to the Father's side. Jesus, Lord of all, Lord of all, Jesus, Lord of all. of power, God, whose word of truth affirming, sends us to the nations now. He will come again in glory, judge the living and the dead. Every knee shall bow before him, then must every tongue confess. Welcome to our study. Well, study. It's a very wide corridor going from the middle of the bungalow through the outside door into the back garden. But it serves its purpose. We've done it out with bookshelves on both sides, a desk and the inevitable computer table. Uh, almost every home these days has got to have a computer for internet access. and. Uh, we're no exception to that. Technology has improved an awful lot over the years. Um, I can still remember the original internet called Prestel when that came out. That was some time ago and before that of course uh, when I was dealing in sound to start with the compact cassette hadn't even been invented and as for CDs and digital recordings no way. I think as an apprentice I can remember uh, some research going on in terms of trying to persuade light to uh, deal with sound and of course that was the start of the research work into the CD machine. Um, as an apprentice the very first thing I bought with my very limited apprentice funds I saved up and bought a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Still got it, but I think its uh, rubber driving belts these days will be totally perished, so I don't think uh, I'd even dare switch it on now. But that was part of a, of a lifelong interest in sound and video, and as a, a young Christian I wanted to take that knowledge and experience and ability into the church and persuade the church to uh, go into sound and to go into video. V 
video in those days was VHS cassettes and I've still got a lot of those from the work I did at the time. Uh, at the time there were a couple of magazines, I think uh, one was called Buzz and that was a contemporary magazine. I uh, even advertised in that magazine, it was expensive. Um, I think we got a couple of inquiries and no orders from it. It was obviously the 50% of advertising that doesn't work. Uh, the other magazine was Crusade, that was a more traditional magazine. But in reading those, I can remember at the time, there were a lot of articles, a, a very fashionable subject to be involved with, and that was dealing with the second coming of Christ. Um, everybody trying to look at the um, examples, the, the, uh, the, the things that have to occur prior to the Lord's return. And at the time, that was expected. It was, it was uh, widely expected and anticipated. Uh, a lot of people were trying to identify the Antichrist. And anybody who was up in politics uh, or leader of, a, of a, an international organisation, um, they had their names examined to see if... Uh, by uh, biblical numerology, uh, they could be identified as the Antichrist by coming up with this 666 figure. Um, uh, don't stand too much stead with that. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, 666 is simply a number of man. Man at the centre of all things, man leading all things, and man bringing up and having done all things. As against 777, which is a number of God, uh, God in the centre of all things, God having uh, leading all things, and God having created all things. So that, that's, that's uh, my opinion on that. And quite a lot of people were being examined and being uh, looked at in these articles, in these magazines. And uh, I think bearing in mind the recent uh, events in America, there's certainly one person that would probably uh, uh, relish the thought of taking on that role. <clears throat> I can remember one itinerant evangelist who preached heavily on the Second Coming and unfortunately he was widely discredited because clearly what he was saying um, wasn't quite right and indeed have, with all the expectation there was back then over 40 years ago and it still hasn't happened, he sort of disappeared into uh, oblivion, I think. Um, but there was a lot of things going on then, not just trying to establish what the Bible was saying on the subject, and if you want to look at that, then we'll hear later a part of uh, Matthew chapter 24. Have a read of Matthew 20, chapter 24, it will give a lot of information. But there was also some novels done. I've got a book here, The Seven Last Years, by Carol Balizet. Um, and uh, that is a, a novel about what might happen in the seven last years uh, to the two, three and a half year periods of tribulation. I think now I'm going to hand over to Lucy to... Uh, read a passage of uh, Matthew 24, I think it'll be verses 8 to 14, um, and it does come with a bit of a warning uh, that uh, some viewers might find this upsetting, uh, but it is a valid part of the story. Jesus said, watch out for doomsday deceivers. Many leaders are going to show up with forged identities, claiming I am the Christ, the Messiah. They will deceive a lot of people. When reports come in of wars and rumoured wars, keep your head and don't panic. This is routine history. This is no sign of the end. Nation will fight nation and ruler fight ruler, over and over. Famines and earthquakes will occur in various places this is nothing compared to what is coming. They are going to throw you to the wolves and kill you. Everyone hating you because you carry my name. 
And then, going from bad to worse, it will be dog eat dog. Everyone at each other's throat. Everyone hating each other. In the confusion, lying preachers will come forward and deceive a lot of people. For many others, the overwhelming spread of evil will do them in. Nothing left of their love but a mound of ashes. Staying with it, that's what God requires. Stay with it to the end. You won't be sorry and you'll be saved. All during this time, the good news, the message of the kingdom, will be preached all over the world. A witness staked out in every country and then the end will come. Well, thank you, Lucy. Uh, that was read from The Message, but uh, I have the New International Version here, which I generally use. And the bit I want to concentrate in, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Well, I think it'll take far cleverer folks than I to determine exactly what it means when the gospel is preached in the whole world. Uh, does it mean that it will all be done in one go throughout the whole world? Or does it mean that it will be done a bit at a time, a country at a time, a, a location at a time? And then what about the people who are going to hear it? Will everyone be forced to hear the gospel? Or will it only be those that want to hear the gospel? I don't know. But what I do know is this, in all the years I've been involved with sound and video and wanting to encourage the church to use those things, each one can be used to record services, to record events, Christian events, which can then be used to be broadcast to the whole world. The technology exists, the satellites in the sky, their footprints cover the entire globe. So we can now provide technology to cover the whole world. And that is increasing all the time. We now have the internet, which is worldwide, if countries allow it. We have Zoom, we have uh, Teams, all sorts of ways, Facebook, YouTube, that we can communicate the gospel to anybody who is willing to listen. And that excites me. It excited me back then, and it still excites me today. We are doing a little bit towards the return of our Lord. That, I think, is important, and that is why I'm excited about uh, the whole area of communication, the whole area of technology, it's because we can now um, get the gospel to all corners of the world. We've done it for football, we've done it for the Olympics, we've done it for, for uh, uh, massive music festivals. So why not, why can't we do it for the church? And it just requires the political willpower to do it. So exciting times ahead. Technology is improving all the time and we're doing as much as we can. This little one bit of providing access to the gospel for the whole world. Before this last song, I want to uh, add some dates and bits of information that I forgot to do in the main thing. It was 56 years ago, 1964, when I bought as an apprentice my first item of audio equipment, the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. And then it was the late 70s and early mid-80s that as a young Christian, I wanted the church to go into video, if they would. That was the time when it was thought that the Antichrist was alive and active in the world. And that was 40 years ago. It was about that time that I came across this song, written by John Denver in 1974. I sing this song for my wife, as he did. But the sentiments, and most of the words, would easily be a song that Jesus could sing to every single individual on this planet. It's called Follow Me. He 
It's by far the hardest thing I've ever done To be so in love with you so long Follow me where I go What I do and who I know Make it part of you to be a part of me Follow me up and down All the way and all around Take my hand and say you'll follow me It's long been on my mind You know it's been a long, long time Try to find a way that I could make you understand The way I feel about you Just how much I need you To be there where I could talk to you When there's no one else around Follow me where I go what I do and who I know Make it part of you To be a part of me Follow me up and down All the way and all around Take my hand and say you'll follow me you see, I'd like to share my life with you Show you things I've seen Places that I'm going to Places where I've been Have you there beside me Never being alone All the time you're with me we will be as one Follow me where I go What I do and who I know Make it part of you to be a part of me Follow me up and down All the way and all around Take my hand and say you'll follow me Follow me where I go What I do and who I know Make it part of you to be a part of me Follow me up and down All the way and all around Take my hand and say you'll follow me Take my hand and say you'll follow me